New evidence came to light in a Detroit murder today. And the man charged in the case wound up bound over for trial in the murder of 55 year old Gracie Hughes. Local force Rod Maloney was there and uh, Rod, some very surprising details came to light. What have you learned so well, far? Yes, Kimberly, this was a particularly vicious crime. The woman who was murdered in this case, Gracie Hughes, was stabbed 67 times. Again, 67 times. But it didn't take Detroit police very long to find the person they now believe was her killer. 55 year old Gracie Hughes celebrated Mother's Day earlier this year, just two days before she was brutally murdered in her childhood home, a home she refused to leave, though it had no utilities. Charged is 46 year old Toria Inge of Detroit. In testimony today, we learned that at the time of Gracie Hughes' murder, Inge was bald, which mattered when a nearby liquor store owner, Latif Danyal, testified to an encounter he had with Hughes, a store regular, the night of the murder. He said Inge came in drunk and looked in tough shape. When he was uh, trying to pay for the beer after, after we argued over it, then he pulled money out of his pocket. It was bloody. It was kind of blood on it. And I uh, also noticed some uh, scratches on his face and some lady woman hair on his head. Don Yall said the hair was six to seven inches long, hanging off the side of his head, dark in color and clearly not Inge's. Don Yall did not take the money that night. Inge returned instead the next day to the store, but it came after Detroit homicide detectives had paid Don Yall a visit. And it was Don Yall who told police that Inge was back in his store and that's where they arrested him. Another witness on the stand today was a close friend of Gracie Hughes, Michilliam Thompson who said that she saw Hughes and Inge together the day before the murder. And she had this to say about Inge. Him over there. Him as in the defendant? Inge. Yeah. Okay. And what monster? Now, police say that after stabbing Gracie Hughes 67 times, he then set her house on fire and left. Now, firefighters found her body in the living room after they put the flames out, and that's how they knew they had a murder investigation on their hands. Inge returns to court for another hearing next week. Devin, back to you.